Welcome back to Fireside Chats with Gaslight. Today we have the wonderful Ryan. Welcome, Ryan. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. So you are a designer. How did you get into design? Um, well, I guess when I was in <clears throat> grade school and high school, I was really into doing like computer animation and stuff like that. Um, nice. And uh, I tried to <laughs> scrape together like a 3D portfolio when I was in high school, like my senior year, which I didn't know what I was doing and it was all trash, right? <laughs> um, Doubtful. So I just kind of put it out to a bunch of schools and uh, I applied to UC, the DAP program over there. Nice. Um, and uh, since it was like right down the street from where I grew up, you know, when they sent over an acceptance letter, I was like, all right, well, I'll try this out. I didn't really know what design as like a, as a profession or as like a discipline was really when I was in high school. So I kind of figured like, okay, well, let's kind of see where this goes. Yeah. And, um, and that was great. I mean, it was like a, a crazy experience, right? Just trying to figure out and like learning all of these new rules and, mm -hmm. you know, what design really was and the history behind it and really kind of fell into it. Um, but I mean, at Gaslight, we do a ton of web work. And while I was in school, I like completely wrote off doing anything on the web, right? I just thought like, this is definitely not for me. This is not something that I want to do like at all. What? Um, yeah, I wanted to do, I wanted to, I mean, everybody, I think in, at that time anyway, everybody kind of became like really into doing like uh, motion design and motion graphics and things like that just because it was like so kinetic and you know you get to play around in after effects and yep. uh so i was like really into doing that and kind of figured like oh maybe i can turn this into like a uh like a special effects kind of thing and so like i was not into the web like at all what That's... yeah i know so wait okay so you were doing that and then so how did you end up at gaslight right so, um, so we did like a quarterly, well, back then it was quarterly, um, co-ops. Mm -hmm. So you do like school for 10 weeks and then go work for 10 weeks and mm -hmm. then flip flop that. And that was like, uh, you would do that your sophomore through senior year, which is four years. So it was like a five year program. So for four years you were in and out of school. And then uh, I think it was my... I can't remember if it was my junior year or my pre junior year. Uh, I, I got uh, an interview over at Gaslight because they'll have like a, an advisor that helps you like look for jobs and uh, place you in jobs and stuff like that. And she told me like, Hey, there's this place up in blue ash who's looking for a designer. Um, you know, do you want to go in and check it out? And I was like, yeah, sure. Sign me up. <clears throat> but all I really knew was that, <clears throat> excuse me, it was a little technology company in Blue Ash. And, you know, at the time I wanted to go work for, you know, some big agency and, you know, like do something like flashy and get out of town and do something like that, you know? Yeah. Um, but I went to go check it out and like, honestly did not think I was going to be interested in it at all. Um, so I went up there i mean i look like a complete like slob i was wearing like jeans t-shirt like nothing you would normally wear to a <laughs> job interview you know what i mean i was like basically trying to not get the job because i had no idea what i was doing there um but when i showed up i mean we went through the interview and showed off my portfolio and talked with doug and Dwayne, and we hung out for like an hour had a really great conversation got to like you know see the place and see some of the guys and I mean, it was really awesome. I mean, it was, it was a great time. It kind of like really changed my perspective of what it was going to be like, you know, cause I had all those stereotypes in my head of like, you know, software developers and stuff like that. And then came to find out that like, none of that was true. You know, we had these two guys who were just like a lot of fun to talk to down to earth, like not your, <laughs> you know, like corny, weird, awkward kind of people that you would think. So 
it totally like changed my whole perspective of like what a software shop was. Nice. Yeah, it was really cool. And so I got lucky they offered me a job and I just like decided to go for it. Yeah. So if you started that your pre-junior, junior year, did you like switch some of your classes so that you're doing more UX stuff? Um, kind of. So I remember like once I got to Gaslight, I really started to dig in, into web design and what that was like, you know, HTML, CSS, starting to learn the basics. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were just so many great people at Gaslight who were so encouraging and like were trying to like foster you know, doing really awesome stuff, just like constantly trying to do awesome stuff. There was just like a great energy in the group um, that I fell in love with and really made me, help me like fall in love with web design too. And, um, you know, going through school, you have, they kind of beat in the process of like, you know, big design. So getting to like use some of those skills in like a different context of like building apps and things like that. It was like really cool to like flex these muscles in kind of a different way. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and so once I got back to school, I remember for our senior year, we had to put together um, kind of like a class website to show off all of our senior capstone projects and stuff like that. And I remember I just like kind of took off on that. I was like, yes, I'm doing this for sure. And like got a little team together and, uh, and we all just like owned it. And it was great because like I had all this experience for something um, that not a lot of other people in my class had had. And it was just like a lot of fun to just, like test out some of these new things I was learning that I got, you know, that I was picking up from working at Gaslight and working there as a co-op. That's amazing. That's so cool. And so you've been with Gaslight for how many years, Ryan? Man, like forever. I don't know. I think it was 2012 when I started. So I guess like eight years, probably coming up on nine soon. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. And over those eight years, what is your favorite part about Gaslight? Um, let's see. What is my favorite part about Gaslight? I mean, I feel like it's kind of cliche to say like it's the people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's really what what hooked me at first because, um, you know, going through school and everything, I, I it's it was always like this big design up front and, you know, you were kind of like off on your own and things like that. And so what I really liked about Gaslight was really just like their philosophy on like approaching projects and like their methodology of, you know, that was the first time I had have, ever had like an introduction to like an agile workflow or something like that, which is kind of like the exact opposite of what they teach you in design school. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, and I feel like that really fit kind of like my personality too. It really just fit the way that I like to work. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so having that, having like a group of people who were like so into like this philosophy, their approach to their work and their approach to, um, you know, clients and the way that they like to work with people. I mean, it just like, it, it was something that just made so much sense to me that I couldn't not do it. You know, once I like started to actually practice doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's kind of what's kept me around is just like, you know, having some people who have, have really studied what other people are doing and have been such a, a big part of these communities at the time and then getting to like peek behind the curtain and see what that's really like. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just really inspiring. It's, it's so cool to like, you know, you read articles and stuff and that's awesome, but to see somebody else like do it and then at the same time, like have all these people mentor me, that was just like something that, you know, I couldn't not keep doing. I just had to keep doing it like that. I loved it. Yeah, that's awesome. That is, yeah, you really have the insight of like the oh, gaslight over the years, which I think is amazing. And I'm glad. Yeah, it's cool. I've you. been super lucky to get to work with like so many really awesome people. Yeah, seriously, though. That's so cool. Well, thank you for joining us this lovely day. We appreciate your time. Yeah, it was a blast. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thanks, and everyone. Yeah, we'll see you next time at Gaslight's Fireside Chats. Oh, man. Bye, everyone. We're out. Bye. <laughs>